Um, today, I am here with Kelly Gimler, who is, we used to be my roommate when we were at Golden Apple. So we are both Golden Apple scholars, and that's how I met Kelly. She is also a special education teacher in her first year, and she happened to go to Judson University, where they have a special program that we're going to talk about with you today. Um, and I just am here to introduce Kelly and welcome Kelly. Hi, guys. Okay, so we're just gonna get right into it. I have some questions about Judson's program and what Judson is. So the first question that I have is, what is Judson? Yeah, so Judson University is my alma mater, four-year university in Elgin, Illinois, um, with many, many majors offered for being such a private, um, small Christian school. They actually have many majors and one of the, a few of their biggest departments are education, architecture and design, worship arts, um, ESS, which is exercise sports science. And then uh, we'll talk a little more about my favorite part at Judson, which is the RISE program. Um, but it's small, welcoming. It has smaller class sizes. Um, it is Christian, so chapel is required, but we'll get more into the activities later. Okay. Um, my second question is, what does Judson offer for students with disabilities? So I know you mentioned a little bit of the RISE program, but is there anything else that you'd like to mention? The RISE program is definitely one of the biggest things that they have at Judson. Um, I know they also have a partnership with one of the local high schools that comes to campus regularly, and they, t um, they use some of the space there um, to run their classes, and then they will eat in the cafeteria so they have partnerships with the community on top of the RISE program as well. Very cool. So let's just get right into it. Can you give us a little overview of the RISE program and like tell us a little bit about how you helped students in that program? Yeah, so RISE is a, um, is a two-year certificate program um, and students who participate get a two-year liberal arts certificate and they end up with um, one concentration of sorts, whatever they might choose. RISE actually stands for Road to Independence, Spiritual Formation and Employment. Um, and so it is um, meant for students with intellectual disabilities and the people who can qualify need to be between 18 and 25 years old, have to have a high school diploma, um, basic reading, writing skills, and just a desire to learn while living on campus. So that's a big part of the program they get to live on campus with traditional students as well. Um, we can talk more about what the breakdown of the program is if you'd like, Tori. Sure, yeah, that would be great, thank you. So students who jump into the program, they have um, mostly self-contained classes with their cohort. Um, so, you know, either the first year cohort or the second year, and their classes tend to be six to eight of them, depending how many came in that year. Uh, every class that they're in should have a teaching assistant, which would be a traditional student alongside the adjunct professor. And their classes will be about life skills. So things like budgeting, things like um, vocational development. They even spend time in the campus apartments, furnishing them and living what, learning what living in an apartment is like. Um, so there are also opportunities for them to take a few general education classes alongside their peers on campus, um, and those can match to their concentration. So if they chose a concentration of education, for example, they would sit in on some of the introductory courses with the gen ed um, students, and they would have a learning advisor who is a traditional student in that class alongside them to help them through their coursework, through their homework, um, and to take those things in a modified manner. Um, students also in their first year have an on-campus internship. And so they tend to either do that either in the cafeteria or the library. Some of them do it in the advancement department where they mail things, they file things, they might do some computer data input. Um, and then in their second year, they get the opportunity to do an off-campus internship with um, also a traditional student alongside them as their um, study learning advisor in that internship. So again, if they have an education concentration, they might um, do an internship at a school. 
as kind of a teacher's assistant. If they have um, more of a business focus, then they might work uh, or intern at a local business um, close to Judson and then um, go with a traditional student to their internship there. Wow, so that's really great. lots of yeah, lots of cool opportunities, and um, they're never alone in the pro in the pro. Well, they are in the dorm, but when they go to their classes, when they go to their internships, um, when they're studying, even they have scheduled study times. A traditional student will be with them and helping them along the way. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow, that was a really great overview. Thank you. you answered a lot of my questions. Um, I want to ask another question a little bit about like the dorm situation. So you said yeah. that sometimes they are, so do they have to live on campus and then tell me about like how independent a typical student in this program is? Yeah, so they have to be fairly independent because they are living on campus. Um, any student who gets into the program does live on campus. They need to, um, learn how to have their daily schedule. They, they should, in time, you know, get up for classes on time and um, find their meals in between classes. Um, but a lot of their schedule is very routine. So it's something that is set up for them and they can follow it um, once they get used to it. So yes, independence is, um, is kind of a, a need for whoever comes to the program. Okay, um, so other than in the dorms, you said that they're kind of like, they're never alone. So they have like, um, is this just, do you mean like with with their teachers and their like support students yeah. in the program? Okay, tell me more, because I know that you did something um, as yeah. a part of the program. So tell me about what you did. Right. So I was an RA um, for this program, as well as a teacher's assistant, as well as a learning advisor. So I did a little bit of each piece of what a traditional student has the opportunity to do um, with the RISE students when they're at Judson. Um, when I say they're never alone, you know, they do have some downtime in their dorms and they do have some some unscheduled time that then they are choosing what to do with that. But um, traditional students and the RISE adjunct staff are very much um, willing to be there for the students. So as an RA, I lived in the dorm with my students. I was lucky enough to um, just have two girls assigned to me and um, they were in my suite in the dorm. So we shared the bathroom and I was right next to them. That might not be the case in every dorm, um, but the RA checks in with them nightly at least and makes sure they had a good day. You know, they'll talk through things talk through how they're doing, how life is going, um, if there's any way they can help them. Um, and the learning advisors, they fill out a form for how the study sessions go. They help them through one-to-one um, -one in their self-contained classes if need be. And the teaching assistants uh, would likely be traditional students. They do the same thing. So. Outside of campus life, there is a lot of support for the students when they are going to class and when they are um, in the dorms, too. Very cool. OK, um, my next question kind of talks about how you were, you know, you supported them in the dorm and like you were there for them. Um, how else are students in the RISE program able to connect with gen ed peers on campus? Yeah, so there's tons of activities on campus um, that the RISE programs have continu RISE program has continued to encourage students to be a part of. So one of the biggest things I think of is the choir on campus. A lot of the RISE students have started to try out for the choir and they join the choir, a few of them, and they're touring with the choir, um, go to the rehearsals every week. So they really enjoy being a part of that. A couple of our students in the past did um, kind of a, a managerial role with our sports team. So they went to all the practices, they went to all the, maybe not all the games, but most of the games and they sat with the team and helped the team, um, you know, just pump up every practice that they had. Um, 
They have the opportunity to participate in university ministries. I know that um, chapel, there's a RISE chapel, usually about mm -hmm. twice a year. So the RISE program is very, um, very much able to be in the spotlight. And like, it's apparent that day when they're running the chapel, how much the students on campus love having RISE a part of, you know, their campus life. So there's tons of opportunities just for them to jump in and get involved, go to the to the club run activities on campus every week. There's one usually on like Friday nights, whether that's bowling or a movie night or um, a wings night in the cafeteria. They're just very integrated and very willing to participate alongside other students. It's very cool. Mm -hmm. um, Okay, my next question is, I think you probably went over this, but I just want to circle back. How long is this program? Yeah, it's so it's two full years. Okay. Um, so that's four semesters. And mm -hmm. each semester has its select courses. Um, the first year is definitely more supportive. Like there's a little more shadowing for the students to get them acclimated to campus and to um, college life, essentially. And then in their second year, they're a little more independent. They're starting to take um, things more on their, a little more on their own. Um, and, and that's especially shown in the off-campus internship opportunity as well. Because the goal is to just get them ready for what could be after college too, what could be after the program for them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it sounds like it provides a lot of connections to like community resources in order to secure employment and like secure um just a a routine that is what the student really wants about you know like from their life and from what they care about okay yeah. i have another question can you sure. tell us the age range again i'm sorry if you went over That's it okay. yeah so students should be from 18 to 25 anywhere yeah. in between mm -hmm. okay okay thank yep. you so um, potentially they could have gone to like a transition program at their high school and then yep. um, and then can come to Judson after. That's awesome. Definitely. Okay. Um, my last question is how can people learn more about this program? Yeah. So the RISE program has a website. You can just go to judsonu.edu slash RISE. Um, there are also preview days about three times a year scheduled. I think their website currently has September 30th. November 15th or January 13th of, um, it would probably be 2021. So mm -hmm. then students could come with their parents, preview the campus, sit in on a class, just like any other traditional student would tour the campus. They would sit in on chapel, um, meet some of the adjunct professors. So that's a big opportunity that, that the RISE staff is more than willing to give if they go on the website and they can also schedule their own time to tour. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. So overall, would you say this is just like a, a close-knit community in a small campus where students with intellectual disabilities can be supported? Or is there anything you'd add to that? I definitely agree. And I think um, a big part of Judson as a whole is the spiritual formation, which is the S in the RISE program. Um, they really love having that opportunity to, to um, you know, integrate the the Christian faith into um, into that inclusiveness on campus as much as possible. So it's cool. Thank you. This has been a really great session um, and I've gotten a lot of info out of it. I'm happy to have met with you today so that we can share this information with the families that I work with. Um, and thank you again, Kelly. And yeah, of course. Yes. Um, so this is the end of the video, but if you have more questions about Judson University's RISE program, please visit the website. I'll put it down in the description below. And I hope you all have a great day. Bye for now.